earth and its habitat 4.1 the structure of the earth what shape is the earth the earth is spherical in shape what does the surface of the earth consist of the surface of the earth consists of the air water and land what do you think might be underneath the surface beneath the surface where the earth's crust conceals its secrets lies a mysterious realm of hidden wonders such as crust mantle and core the solid white part at the bottom of the image is ice describe how the ice becomes water in the blue parts of the image what do we call this change in some parts of antarctica the wind takes away the upper layers of ice exposing the older denser ice beneath the first layer these areas appear as bright patches of blue between the white snow so the change from ice to water in the blue parts of earth is called melting when the ice absorbs energy such as from sunlight or warmer temperatures it transitions from a solid ice to a liquid water what provides the energy that makes the ice change into water the energy that causes ice to change into water comes from heat when the ice absorbs some heat energy its molecules gain kinetic energy and start vibrating more rapidly this increased motion weakens the bonds between the water molecules in the ice lattice causing it to melt and transition into liquid water this process is called melting so whether it's the warm of the sunlight a warm room or any other heat source it provides the necessary energy for ice to transform into water what is on the outside of part of the earth the outside part of the earth is made of rocks and sea water we call this the earth's external surface how can scientists find out about the parts of the earth that are below the surface scientists employ various methods to explore the hidden depths of earth's interior Let's delve into some of these fascinating techniques. These parts make up the earth's internal structure. They cannot cut the earth in half and look at the structure inside. So they have to use a model to show the internal structure. The earth contains of the crust, mantle, outer core and inner core. The outer core is liquid and the inner core is solid. Remember we often use models in science. Sometimes models help us to understand how something works or models can help us to see what something looks like that we can't see in real life. To look at the internal structure of the earth our model needs to show what the earth would look like if we would cut it open like we do with a peach Describe the external structure of a peach The external structure of the peach contains the skin the outermost layer which is typically fuzzy or downy in texture The skin can range in color from yellow to red often with a gradient or blush effect depending on the variety and exposure to sunlight Does the right hand image show the external structure of a peach or the internal structure It shows the internal structure of the peach Name the two layers that make up the internal structure of a peach The internal structure of a peach consists of two main layers the mesocarp this is the fleshy edible part of the peach that we normally eat it's juicy and varies in color from white to yellow or red 
endocar often referred to as the pit or stone this is the hard woody layer that surrounds the seed inside the peach here is a diagram to show the internal structure of the earth the structure is made of different layers the crust the mantle and the core the crust is the thin outer layer of the earth where we live the crust is formed of rocks under the oceans the crust is about 5 km thick under the land crust is about 70 km thick The temperature of the crust increases from 20 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. Mantle. The mantle is about 3000 km deep. Think of a distance that is 3000 km long and that is the thickness of the mantle. The mantle is a much thick layer than the crust. The rocks in the mantle have been melted by heat. The melted rocks are called magma. The magma can move like liquid. The temperature rises to 1000 degrees Celsius. The last layer is the core. The core is about 3400 km thick. The core is made of metals like iron and nickel. The metals in the outer core are liquid. For a long time scientists thought that the temperature of the inner core was 5000 degrees Celsius, but in 2014 Scientists used new equipments in the laboratory. They measured the temperature when iron melted under pressure. They found it was 6000 degrees Celsius. This is as hot as the surface of the sun.